Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. In today's video I'd like to have a look at uh, the USE Minis and see how they unfolded yesterday. In particular I'd like to have a look at the NQ. Uh, I'd like to look at this because this is what we were looking at in our live training webinar yesterday. In particular this TS3 buy setup here. Again, this actually came up during our live webinar yesterday, so we were actually looking at this uh, as it unfolded uh, during our live webinar. Um, so let's have a look at uh, this setup now. As you can see, our STF color is blue. That means the large degree trend is up. TS3 buy setup, therefore, is good to take for all uh, MT predictor users. We have a blue buy bar here. To analyze this, we right mouse click over the blue buy bar, click analysis, and that then gives us our position sizing, which keeps our initial risk small under control. In this example, is 2% uh, of a sample uh, 20,000 US dollar account. You can uh, use different accounts if you want, if you want to set these up in our Ninja Trader add ons, which we have here. This tells you how many contracts to, uh, to trade. Uh, if you're trading Forex, it would be lots. If you're trading uh, stocks, it would be shares and it also gives you uh, the target. This was our first target here and as you can see at the first target there was a potential profit of 4R or 4 times the initial risk. As you can see the market went up, hit that uh, first target nicely. When it did you come down to our STF um, indicator as well and see whether it's what we call strong or weak. In this case it was weak because it was less than our strength band therefore you come out at that target. So the result was a nice 4R profit. Uh, you can see that this actually, this buy setup came in at was uh, what was pretty much the low of the day. In fact, this bar was the very bar of the low of the day. So a very nice setup to be buying uh, off the low of the day. Uh, I want to show you another um, feature here for the more experienced users, which would have actually helped gauge uh, where the trend was going as well. So let's just clear this all off. For the more experienced traders, we go to the higher time frame chart, which in this case would be the 15 minute chart. So let's go out to this and uh, even before uh, these highs unfolded uh, you'd have gone back to the prior pivot right mouse click and put this level on. Now these levels are on the chart in advance so uh, you can see that this actually caught the high of the day very nicely but I want to stress these are leading indicators in other words they're on the chart in advance so if I put one on from here you can see it's out there in advance ready and waiting for potential support even before the market even gets there the leading indicators so that's the important thing to understand about this. On the higher time frame, it was there before the market even got there. So let's go back to the shorter time frame and see how this would have helped. Well, as you can see, as our market was actually uh, coming into our, uh, this buy setup, uh, we hadn't reached our resistance area. Therefore, uh, the large view trend was still up. So it was a good trade to take. Now, standard trade management guidelines would have come out just before the high. Uh, so a 4 hour profit would be very nice uh, indeed. But just look what this uh, larger degree resistance area allowed you to, uh, to call. Basically it allowed you to call the high of the day. Uh, the market made three attempts up into this level here, but each of those found resistance at that higher time frame resistance level and that actually allowed you to catch the very, very high of the day. So basically looking back on this, our TS3 automatic buy setup here caught the low of the day on um, the NQ and our higher time frame decision point resistance area caught the high of the day. So there we are nailing the low and nailing the high of the day. Now the important thing again is to understand is that that decision point was on the chart in advance before the market got up there. So it gave you an area of where resistance was anticipated and boy did it actually work uh, very very nice indeed. So overall a very good uh, day for an MT predictor, uh, particularly on the NQ where we actually nailed the high of the day with our larger degree 15 minute DP area and um, on the way up to that we actually had a very nice automatic TS3 buy set up there which as you can see uh, came in on the very bar of the low of the day. And again I stress that we actually looked at this particular trade setup in our live trading webinar that we were doing uh, yesterday. Position sizing again uh, takes account of the number of contracts, keeps your initial risk small under control and as you can see the result was a nice 4 hour profit. So a very good example of both standard MT predictor trades and also using the higher time frame to anticipate future support and resistance which as you can see now the very high of the day for you. So a good example of what the tools in MT predictor can provide for you as a trader.